Hi guys, welcome to Excessive Game. I'm Excessive Brutality. Thanks for joining me on part 8 of uh, my Let's Play series for Until Dawn, published by no other than Supermassive Games. Previously on Until Dawn. Let's see where we left it off, guys. Exciting times. Exciting times. Josh. <laughs> Josh. How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No, 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 no. They're gone. Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you are gonna fucking pay, you oh dick! God. What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. Oh God! Oh my God, Matt! Hey, Grace. She's not called Grace. Is she called Grace? <laughs> I don't like her. I don't care. I don't know her. I don't know who she is anymore. Chapter eight: Animus. Three hours until dawn. Oh my. What's going on? What's going on here? What the? What the fuck? What the fuck? Who are you shooting at, man? Look at that motherfucker. What? Exactly. What? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Shit. Oh shit. What is that? Oh, nice little flare there. Oh my God. I like it. It's that a little bit of erotic, seductive tone to the whole whole cave scene with that red light shining on your face. There in it, love it. So, exploration time, guys. Let's see what we got around here. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to go back this way. So that means I'm gonna go back this way. Or maybe I should go back this way. Maybe I'm supposed to go back this way. What is it down here? Looks like the developers didn't want me to go down this way. But why not, Supermassive? What are you hiding around these parts? Absolutely nothing. Fair enough. It was my mistake. Let's move on down this way. Ooh, a little shiny, shiny little thing down there. When something is shiny in this game, you know you gotta go and check it out. Ooh, another totem. A totem. Ooh. Well, that's a whole lot of shit, isn't it? It's nothing. That's so shit. Look at that. Another mine thingy. Carriage, cart thing. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'm loving all this spooky down mine section. It's my favorite part of the game so far. What have we got down here? Alright, let's just carry on this way. A lot of noise is happening. Need a little bit of a warning before I jump. If, if possible, guys. You know. My throat is a little bit dry. It's a little bit dry my throat. Just, just cause I, cause, cause I, cause I, cause it's dry. I'm not scared. A little bit of my tasty beverage right there. That's what it was. It was just that. Nothing to do with being afraid. Nothing to be afraid of right now. Ooh, shiny thing. What is that shiny thingy down there? I like shiny things. Enter the gap. This is going to be the way. Alright. Oh, bollocks. Oh, shit. Alright. Try to kill her. Try to kill her. Try to kill her. Die. Die already. I'm trying so hard to kill you. Not touching anything. Hmm. Right or left? Oh my god! What the fuck? 
That was epic. Shite. Should I press it? Kick crash. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck me. Holy shit, guys. Wow, I really jumped there. I'll tell you what, it's very different playing with headphones. Very loud headphones. So, my job is done. We have ended her. Crap, what now? I could just leave it right there. Now, let's continue. Other people will get killed. Are you serious? Whoa. You alright? Whoa. What the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. I'm sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. <laughs> it's good. Chris, Washington Lodge, 4.23 in the morning. Demand, give me the pistol. Suggest I'll cover the door. Uh... Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. Hey, man. Uh, hold on Chill there. the fuck out. Hold on Chill there. the fuck out, man. Freeze. Oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Yeah, just move over there. All right, Go yeah. on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain. My mountain. <laughs> uh, I'm sure the Washingtons would be very My island. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What is he talking Wendigo? about? Wendigo? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Not really. Now, I'm only going to tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. <laughs> Somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, oh man. Your friend will already be dead. Mm. No. Oh man, not Josh. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No, I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. And I'll go. Okay. I, I don't need your help. He going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. Fine by me. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Alright then. Whatever you say, Mr. Mayan.
He's got the flamethrower after all. Oh. This is the end you point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. <laughs> Cookie son of a bitch! He does know how to use a rifle. I saw him shoot a rifle before. Good shot. Good shooting, guy. Good shooting. So let's see what happens. We gotta go. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's uh? What's a guy gotta know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Oh, okay. So. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. Their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Quite gross. All right then. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy, unpredictable, or I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some pattern, like any animal or human. What, you mean, like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. I fear a quick time event is about to uh, happen. Tips. Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something. Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes in movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. He's gone. He's gone. What happened? Oh man, he was just playing a joke. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Quiet. <sighs> Quiet. We gotta go. Right now. I agree. Find Josh. Can still I agree we should go right now. First. When you go, he'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body. It's like chicken. He keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs one piece at a time. And you know this? We'll watch that. How? Let's go now. It might still be near. I sort of trust this guy, but I am a bit skeptical. How the hell does he know that they eat an organ one at a time? I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. Information right there. Wait. I'm keeping my fucking still. I can't move a muscle. Oh shit, I moved. Run! Go! Now! Now! Move! Oh. Ah. Back! God damn! <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh he's dead as oh my god, look at that shit. <laughs> oh god. What do I do now? Okay. Shit, that was good. I wanna save this guy. All the guys, I want to save this guy because I didn't save him last time. Come on, man. Quick, man. Open the door for him, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, he's dead. Oh, two oh, oh. beheading. Oh, shit. Oh man! 
Well, I did want to end them all. Ash, come on, we gotta get down to the basement. Oh my God. Now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit. Wow. Now, this is an episode and a half. Three deaths in it. Three deaths, man, in the first 15 minutes. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Josh. Josh is still alive ish, I think. What took you so long? It's not good up there. Mike, where is Chris? Chris is, uh, not coming. Oh, Ash, I am so sorry. Okay. Maybe you I'm, should I'm, sit I'm down. I'm fine, Sam. Okay, okay. What about the old guy? No sign of him. I think he's got to be dead, too. <gasps> all right. Have you all the doors? Yeah. Not everybody dead. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Do you have the key for the cable car? Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. Fuck it. I'm going to get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm going to get us all the hell out of here. What is all that? Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. That's how I got back here. All right. You guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Back soon. We'll see about that. We shall see, man. Ashley Hotel, Old Hotel, 451. Cannibalism. Mining disaster. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories a lot of, history to this. of a trial. A tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived in it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the, mines, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. Lovely. I'm not reading all that shit. I'm not reading all of it. Hunger cravings. This is all shit. I should read it. I should read. I want to read this page. There may be defenses. Shaman's road of rituals. I have found native artifacts in the mountain and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them. Out on the mountain they work. They keep the Windigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings they do not work. Cree legends, Sam, say that the Windigo grows from the bite of another Windigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. That's all I'm reading, guys. Oh, oh no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What is it? 
does it say? Let me see that. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Joshua, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? I think it's true. He didn't. Oh, but of course you nope. did. I did not. They were your friends. You misled them. You lied to them. And you put them through a night of genuine horror. It was meant as a joke, Doctor. It was a game. Just a game? Yeah. Just a game. A nitty bitty game. But it was a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. You're now facing something worse than death itself. Really? What is that? What am I facing? Okay guys, that was an episode. I mean three deaths in that episode there. So um, I think that's what we're going to call it for today. Please hit that like button. Leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, to receive um, you know updates for when I upload any new content. Which is quite regularly as well. Remember guys, if you ain't playing rock hard, you ain't playing at all. I'm Excessive Brutality and this is Excessive Gamer. Thanks for watching. Until next time.